Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I'm saying massive shout out to every one of you for the love, the support you all showing me here with. To so my members, you all are super sweet. So straight to the point. I think it's uh it's really crazy how some latinos think it is okay to wake up and call black people monkeys and uh, go, uh monkeys and gorillas and then try to do some horrible black people's mannerism and all that and then turn back to tell black people that you all are so sensitive when we say some certain things about you and then it is horrible how a full grown woman because looking at this she is a full-blown grown woman coming out to do something like this and she actually has a huge platform over 500 and something subscribers and she thinks it is okay to do something like this not just only that this same particular woman has been using black platforms I see where she attended a an interview and it was done by a black person and then when they get a huge platform they let you all know that you all are not up to their standard and all that i mean let me tell you something a hispanic person a latino or whatever you think you are you think you you are not even white enough and you cannot be picked that is number one thing when they see you, they see you as a person of color. They do not see you as a white person. And she is telling us that she is American because she got married to a, a boy that is old enough to be her son. And she thinks she has arrived and she can call black people gorilla, monkey, and do some mannerism black people do. I mean, all those stereotypes white people do to stereotype black people i mean it is some people's madness for me because i don't see her i see her as a mad person let's get into this video monkeys in 2023 is old and played out I already made this video in Spanish, but I'm making it again in English because this video needs to reach more people. It needs to reach the right people. Blatant racism is normalized in Latin America, but I truly hope that this video will reach people who will get her account banned. She has three accounts that I know of, but I'll keep y'all updated if I find any more. Ustedes ven al mundo diferente, por eso viven a la pobreza y a la mediocridad. Yo soy blanca, yo estoy en Estados Unidos, soy ciudadana, tengo papel hace muchos años, vivo en un lugar muy espectacular, corazón, para yo fajarme con ninguna quincona de ustedes. This lady is literally flexing her white privilege and the fact that she lives in the United States. Lighter skinned Latinas, like the lady in this video, who benefit from white privilege in Latin American countries, then come to the United States and are subjected to the same anti black and anti indigenous rhetoric from actual white people mind you this is the same exact rhetoric that they spew towards black and indigenous people and then they complain black people are disproportionately affected by white supremacist systems literally built to put them as at a disadvantage and that's the reason why they don't have the same access that this lady has living in the united states and even though she has this access to resources and education, she is still one of the most uneducated and classless people I've ever heard speak in my life. Like I said, I already posted this video in Spanish. The lady from the video saw it, blocked me, and then proceeded to post a very colorful TikTok story. Basically calling black people the most sensitive group for reacting to her blatantly racist video. I am not addressing this video to that lady directly. I am rather addressing this video to TikTok users and TikTok moderators who blatantly suppress anti-racist and educational content, but let stupidity like hers fly. Why is that okay? And why does that type of content thrive here on TikTok? Come <laughs> 
it's funny because she's bragging about having her papers and dogging out black people. But the only reason that you have papers to even be able to immigrate in this country is because of black people and the civil rights movement. It's because of that, that you were able to go to a NICU and pick out your new husband. I thought this was your son. So let's be very clear, Monica. That man is gonna cheat on you. You can tell by the wedding dress that the age difference is vast. This dress alone lets me know that he found you on a sugar mama website. You said that you're white and I agree you are, but I assure you, baby, you're not white enough. I promise you, them white folk do not see you as equal. And you got some nerve wearing white. That option flew out the window 50 years ago when you were his age. So I'll be a La Negra and you're a cradle robber. I tried to record this video. Here's my fourth time. Here we go. I'm going to share with you guys. Le voy a enseñar this white Cuban woman, okay? Because she has a big platform. It's una racista. She's racist. And people like this shouldn't have a platform. She's very racist. And I just want to share with you guys that in Cuba, there's a lot of racism. Mucho racista. And I can't believe that she lives here in the United States and she's acting like this. Let me share with you guys a video because this is one of the videos that's broken my heart. Hold on a second. Played out. Vayan, cojan un plátano y subanse en una mata. Okay? Cu, 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 cu. Okay, yo soy blanca. Tú eres negra. ¿Te recuerda algo? I already made the So let me translate. She says, get a banana and get on top of a, of a tree. And she started making the uh, monkey noises because she's white and she's privileged. That's what she says. Hold on a second. La mediocridad. Yo soy blanca. Yo estoy en Estados Unidos. Soy ciudadana. Tengo papel hace muchos años. Vivo en un lugar muy espectacular. Corazón para enfadarme con ninguna quincona. The second part of the video, she says that she she has papers and that she lives in a very beautiful place to be arguing with King Kong, a woman of a King Kong woman. Esa mujer, let me show you. She has, let me show you the big platform she has. Okay, hold on. Go on, you guys. Here's one of her accounts right here. 415,000 followers. Hold on. Because she has many accounts. Here's another account. And here's this account. Okay. It breaks my heart that that human being is acting like that. Calling us monkeys and King Kongs and all that stuff. I hope, I hope that we all could go to those accounts and leave her a beautiful message because she is 100% wrong and I am so heartbroken. For 2023, for a Cuban to be acting like that. I'm so sad. Comparing black women to monkeys in 2023 is old and played out. Bye. So I wanted to make a long educational video like they did, but I think they did a beautiful job. I think I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet, okay? To the people that you're trying to appease, the whites, um, I might be a gorilla, but you're an Comparing black women to monkeys in 2023 is old and played out. Bye. This is nothing new. This is what I was talking about in these live events. It's going to go over a lot of people's head, but the people who needs to have this video, repost this video, talk about this video, y'all need to. This is why I say y'all need to stop accepting everybody to the table. Everybody is not for us. All skin folks are not kin folk. It don't matter if they Latin afro latino or none of that stuff those people were raised differently from us they were raised in a different atmosphere these people love to claim that they for us they don't they're not for us they think exactly how she does you see she did the ooh, ooh ah, ah monkey who's known for doing that old girl from love and hip-hop who's known for doing that uh cardi b says the n-word all the time like it's like it's nothing y'all accept everybody and anybody and y'all allow them to disrespect y'all belittle y'all y'all need to wake up y'all need to do better we need better representation we need to exit people from the table old and played out okay this is why it's hard to believe when someone that complexion versus someone my complexion tried to tell me they're black and they're latino it's hard to believe because some of y'all ancestors be coming out of y'all skin pores and your um, inner racism be coming out. And this will I be mindful in certain communities to where people are mixed with. 
some of y'all have this mindset that y'all better. Some of y'all over centuries have actually claimed on uh, papers to live a better life. When uh, us who are very African descent getting, don't have that opportunity or never had that opportunity. Some of y'all privilege have shown over and over again. Have you seen this video of this white Cuban woman being so racist towards black people and the videos in Spanish, but there are English subtitles? Watch this nonsense. I am como un plato y su hace una mata. Ok. Ok, yo soy blanca. Tú eres negra. ¿Te recuerda algo? Ustedes ven el mundo diferente. Por eso viven en la pobreza y en la mediocridad. Yo soy blanca. Yo estoy en Estados Unidos. Soy ciudadana. Tengo papel hace muchos años. Vivo en un lugar muy espectacular. Corazón para yo fajarme con ninguna quinta. This is why we have to talk about the racism in Latin America because the closer some Latinos are to whiteness, the more they think like this woman. And by the way, this woman's a real triple threat. She's ignorant, racist, and annoying. I mean, she doesn't talk about white supremacy. She doesn't talk about systemic racism. She doesn't talk about the fact that Cubans have an easier time getting citizenship than anyone else in Latin America. And then she was doing those racist tropes in such a way, such a infuriating, annoying way that you wish karma would have just gotten her right then and there. You're like, ooh, I wish that chair you're sitting on would just give out from underneath you and you fell and broke your coccyx or something while you were making those noises. And this is someone with multiple accounts and this one being her biggest, I'm gonna tag it below so we can leave her a few messages. Oh, and by the way, I went on her page and this is her on a radio show, which is hosted by this black Latino. And this is why we can't trust white people or anybody who aligns themselves with white supremacy. Because they will use people of color, like she will go on a black Latino's talk show and use him until she gets what she needs, her following. And then when she gets big enough, she throws that community that helped her get somewhere under the bus. I hope this gets out so people stop supporting you. And while we're at it, let's change that name. Better. Are called monkeys. Why that insane comparison is still around today? One word: dehumanization. By calling black people monkeys, uh, racist people take away their humanity and thus justify treating them in inhumane ways. Dehumanization is behind the worst brutalities that human beings have done uh, to one another. It's also commonly used in wartime propaganda. During World War II, Thomas A. Blamey, the commander of the Allied forces, stated that we are not dealing with human beings as we know them. We are dealing with something primitive in reference to Japanese individuals. Allied soldiers would also dehumanize Japanese individuals by referring to them as rats, apes, monkeys, and insects. Obviously, racist people know that black people are not monkeys. Regard them as such in order to humiliate them and make them feel inferior, less than human. Thus justify performing the most heinous acts upon them. So if you or anyone you know just thinks it's funny or, or cute to, uh, you know, mock black people, refer to them as monkeys, make monkey sounds, you are contributing to a major form of oppression that has not only impacted black people, but has impacted minorities as well, has also impacted Jewish people and more. Blue monkey, black monkey, the fact that you made the monkey noises is beyond crazy to me. Period. Point blank. You can't erase the history of black people being called a monkey. Let's talk about the history of black people being called monkey. Bl that came from, first of all, back in the 1800s in Belgium, there were human zoos. Mm -hmm. Who was a part of the zoo? It wasn't the white people. It was the black people. We were on display at the fucking zoo. If you do, do your history, when white people came over to Africa and they started seeing a whole bunch of monkeys, they started saying, well, damn, they look like black people. That's where we originated from, which is completely false. If you let's let's bring it up to present day time so where our grandparents can remember minstrel shows and blackface with porch monkeys. Mm -hmm. There's never a time where a black person should be called a f monkey and it is OK. I don't care who says it. When your parents called you a monkey, it wasn't cool. When the little boy got on uh, when H&M had that the coolest monkey mm -hmm. in the jungle with the black boy, we were up in arms as a black community. So how the f we mad about that, but now we're okay with Erica Minna. It's wrong, it's wrong, and it's wrong. You can't, that's what, that's why nobody respects the black community. We can't stand on one soapbox one minute, and then the next time we're letting the slide. Message.
so this is all i got from this video and uh sincerely speaking there are some things you see on the internet and you look at the people doing it they are old you know or they are people's mother i mean there are people's aunt and then i ask myself why would a full grown full blown grown woman come out to do something like this that really shows how deep right of the seas has really eaten deep into them that they can't even there is no way coming back they love i mean they love to use black i am sorry to say this but it is the reality i mean most of them when they are looking for fame they know black people are usually like you know on top of their games and they look for a way to gaslight black people or look for a black platform to get to the top what they are looking for look like the man said she was on a show hosted by a black person and then when they get what they want they throw you under the bus i mean there are some things you see and you ask yourself is it ignorant she has american citizenship or she was able to marry a child that uh, she i mean she looks older than what well, she's old enough to be her mother and was able to get her papers and uh now she is way better than everybody number one is that uh the white supremacist agenda she is pushing the reality is that uh, they don't see her any different as black people or any other person because she is not white enough is she she ain't white enough and she cannot be picked that is it they just do not understand it and like see it is not okay for any human being to come out to dehumanize black women. There is nothing fun about coming out to make monkey noise, hit your hand on your head, trying to make black people's this thing. It's, it, there is nothing fun about it. That really shows how rich the sis you are. And I think we can do better as humans. We can do better as people. I rarely wake up and see black people poking their nose into people's uh, businesses. I rarely see that. I don't see that. But we wake up every day and you see them trying to gaslight themselves. And they know the easiest way to actually get the frame they are looking for more time is try to gaslight black people. Then they think they can get views and all of that. I mean, this is really a very horrible thing to watch. And I hope they get her accounts banned because she doesn't deserve to be on this internet i mean she doesn't deserve to have a platform people like her she doesn't deserve to have a platform and a big one at that matter and then she came back after gaslighting black she came back to say that we are sensitive and my ancestors judge you harshly see you all in my next video bye for now